welcome everybody to Couch Warrior TV live stream Building with Billy Fallout 4. All right. Tonight is just about some casual building. And again, this is the third Building with Billy live stream I've done. And uh, the objective of these live streams is to build some set pieces that I'm going to use in the St. Billy story. So all the building that I do uh, for the story, I do off camera in live streams. I don't incorporate most of my building into the story itself. Otherwise, that would just extend the story by hours and hours and hours, and it would be kind of meaningless building. So I do it in this live stream series, some of which gets published, um, most of which I haven't published. Um, so if you are here tonight, I thank you so much for joining me, and uh, we are going to get started. Now, the building that we need to do tonight is not anywhere near the area that we are currently in, so we're going to have to get there. Let's have a look-see. If we look on our map, well, we are currently in the city or township of Malden, and we need to get down here uh, to Charlestown. We're going to be building in Charlestown, so I think we'll just probably just hoof it overland here. So just as um, a point of reference, in the St. Billy story, Billy has come to the conclusion that the best, one of the best things that he can do for the Commonwealth is to provide pure drinking water. So in the context of our story, Bill, Billy is attempting to purify as much water as he can and is giving it away. But as part of his strategy for protecting his water purification system, I guess, or network, is rather than putting everything in a single location, he's building a series of small water purification, uh, I guess, I don't know what you'd call them, bases, I guess, water purification bases or facilities or whatever. He's trying to spread them out across the Commonwealth uh, so that if he loses one to an attack or sabotage or something like that, that he's got the others. Rather than concentrating all of his efforts in one place, uh, he has spread the effort out. And uh, if you've watched past live streams, you know that we already have one purification station constructed. And this one would be number two. So, and I've got a spot scoped out already that I think uh, works well with the story I'm trying to tell here. So here's the plan, ladies and gentlemen. I am, part of the fun of this for me is figuring out how to build these remote water purification sit stations and do it in such a way that they are kind of hidden. Like, you know, they're, they're in locations that are either safe from enemies or are preferably completely hidden. So there's water pumping going on and purification going on, but the enemy doesn't even know it's going on right under their nose. So uh, most of the systems that I have plans to build because of that requirement, I'm never really going to be able to run more than a couple purifiers at any given time. Otherwise, they would just, they would have, you know, such a large footprint that I wouldn't be able to hide them. So this one, we're actually going to be hiding under a bridge. Um, the first one that I built is kind of over, it's on the Boston waterfront, and I found an old boathouse that uh, I was able to extend uh, and create a slight extension on on the boathouse itself that matched very well with the architecture of the boathouse so that it actually looked like it was 
it was part of the original structure, and that was the way that I hid that one. And then I also modified the building so that there was no way to get in and out um, unless you actually knew the way in and out, right? Which I obviously do. So, you know, hidden entrances and, and shit like that are, are pretty cool. I like that. Hello, Mr. Clifton. Good day, Mr. Clifton. Die, Raiders. Oh, I popped your head. Not scared? Get scared. Okay. So, we're going to take an elevator. An elevator. I'm going to take a freaking elevator to get to where we're going to. So, yeah, as I said, this build location, the, the route to get there is a bit convoluted. But that's how I like it. Um, if you've seen any of my videos and, and seen the route that Billy has to plot out just to get into his own house, uh, it gets pretty bananas. Okay, so this is like an old kind of shopping area. Once you get up here to, I don't know, it's fourth or fifth floor, you have access to this overpass. And this is where we get started. First, I gotta get to my build location, which is pretty close by. Now, the the path that I'm following now, I'm not sure, but Unidentified intruder detected. I think Beginning that search. perhaps because there's a couple lifts up here, right? You have to. Once you get up here, you can find a lift that will take you up and then across the upper deck and then down again on, on the other side of a big gap. Um, I'm not sure, but it's this may be part of a railroad route or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I haven't hit that part of the story yet, of the Fallout experience. I haven't experienced any of the railroad stuff yet, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, those actually work to my advantage here. So this is the build spot. So to get started, I got to... We're going to set up a campsite here. Again, I'm, u I'm using Chesco's, uh, Chesco's Conquest mod. So, setting up the campsite's really more or less just a means to an end here. What? Okay. Okay. Because what I really want is... I want to... God, my microphone's giving me shit. I want to... set up a workbench. All right, so... What am I going to call this one? Uh, Chesco's Mod gives us a finite number of options, or a finite number of camps that we can build, and he's got them kind of all pre-named. So you're you're kind of stuck with the names he's got here. Um, Wharton, Tomeski Outpost, Cretes, Garwood, Ferrani, and Dunn. Um, I've built two outposts so far, and I have a third one deployed temporarily as part of my current storyline. I'm going to call this one Ferrani. All right. So here's the plan. I'm going to build a pumping station that hangs off the bottom of this bridge. And I'm going to run my power down one of the bridge pylons all the way to the river, and then I'm going to have a couple of remote 
purifiers located right down there. You can see where all that nasty algae and stuff is going on down there. There's going to be a couple purifiers down there tucked up against the side of the bridge pylon. But uh, the generator and uh, a little safe house are going to be suspended from the bottom of the bridge, and then we're going to create a kind of concealed way to get in and out of this deal. Uh, so for now, I'm going to leave my workbench here, but once we've got some place kind of built out, I will move the workbench and put it actually inside the outpost. That is the plan, anyway. Um, so, firstly, let's... Let's do this. Go to build mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off clipping or collision because I need to go through here. And in order to get this to work like I need it to, I have to get my first piece lined up how I want it. And we talked about this before. I mean, last time I built stuff, I, I think this whole lining up of the first piece is is why uh, why people started giving me shit about being a diva. That's right. I'm a diva. I'll admit it. Happy to admit it. Okay, now, one of the problems here is I, in order to really get going, I've got to construct uh, some platforms to work on so that I can get out of that non-collision mode because it, it'll screw with your ability to move certain things. So what I'm going to do is just kind of build a temporary catwalk here that I can use to get get my shit organized. Um, ooh, I really like that. See, there's the diva. Even my temporary shit I got to have lined up. But yeah, the whole the whole diva thing was a big joke the last time I, I did one of these because I was never satisfied with how anything was working out, so I was doing it over and over and over to the point where it, uh, I think um, Katie, actually, Katie actually built a, a custom emoticon on our Discord server that was called Stu the Diva or something like that, and it actually had me wearing a feather boa and all that business. I wonder, do I want to start here? I don't think I do. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down here. Because I don't need to run this pipe for very long. And, and you may be wondering what I what the hell I'm doing running a pipe in the first place. And I will explain that shortly. Um, but with, with everything you build, I mean, when at all possible... You always want to try to use the snapping feature to get things lined up. So provided that I get the very first piece of whatever it is I'm building successfully lined up, then I don't, I don't have to sweat it later. You know what I mean? Like stuff will just kind of work. So that's why I get a bit obsessive. Okay. Uh, yo, in the comments, I subscribe to content I like. That's what I subscribe to. I don't subscribe on, a on request. I don't subscribe for trades. I subscribe to content I like. Uh, that is the rule. Okay? So, I spent four and a half, five years building my channel one subscriber at a time. And, you know, there's no easy way. So, that's... Fortunately, that's that's how I do it. So, um... Let's see. 
let's do that. Okay, so I got a pipe here, obviously. And part of what I'm trying to do here is is I'm I'm trying to make this structure look like it was part of the original architecture. This this is part of my strategy for hiding the entrance, if you will. Okay. Okay, so what I've done here is I've basically just constructed what what looks like a pipe that was designed to run underneath the freeway and that kind of broke off here when this section collapsed. That's the idea. And this this pipe is going to function uh, as part of the entrance into this thing. So, but I'm I'm using it as kind of a reference point here. Now I'm going to start trying to line things up based on this. What? Don't do that. Don't be stupid. Okay. So, yeah. Um, thanks, Zamads. I I hunted far and wide. I, I, I have so far in my test game, I have built... I think uh, a total of five remote pumping stations, and each one of them is hidden. And uh, so far, this is one of my favorites. I was really working hard trying to find a location down below here. You can see where I'm looking down at these buildings below. I ran all over that place looking for a good spot, and I just couldn't find anything that, that made sense. And then I looked straight up over my head and I thought, what the hell? Like, what if I hung something off the bottom of that overpass? Um, even if the enemy did figure out it was there, they, they could never get to it. They certainly couldn't, uh, unless they had a very powerful rifle, they couldn't even take reasonable shots at me from, you know, <laughs> uh, from down there. So that was kind of the strategy. Okay, so I need to drop a little bit lower okay now this part this part is going to take some just kind of messing around to get things lined up I'm going to put the basic pieces in place but I will definitely be going back to realign them later once I get once I get things kind of situated with my walkway and all that stuff because ultimately I need to make sure that whatever walkway I build uh, comes down and, and successfully connects with what I'm building here. So I'll have to make some adjustments. It's, it's kind of a chicken and egg thing. What, what am I going to build first? But So I'm going to do this um, primarily with steel. And my plan is to kind of use the this sort of open style piece here just because it gives me more flexibility I, I put the walls on myself so I can decide where there's going to be a full wall where there's going to be a half wall where I'm going to run cables all that kind of stuff so ultimately this pylon right here that we see right here is super important because that's where I'm going to run power um, it's at the base of that pylon that we're going to find our purification system. So my generator's got to be in a position to conveniently access that. Uh, so I'm just going to put one of these here. And just for shits and giggles, I will put another one on there like that. Okay, I'm going to turn collision off again just so I can get up in here. Okay. So I'm feeling okay about that so far. Now the main thing is that I need to start scoping out where my walkway is going to run 
And my walkway has got to be at a height that is somewhat convenient to, you know. Th there are some issues here that I encountered before where my walkway was too close to the bottom of the bridge. And even, even in stealth mode, I was not able to crouch low enough, you know, so then I had to make a whole bunch of adjustments and, and crap like that. I, I don't doubt that that's probably going to happen again, but that's okay. I mean, this stuff requires some tweaking to get it right. The other thing, too, is I, I like to build stuff in a way that kind of looks realistic. So the walkway, for example... I mean, it doesn't make sense that it it would just be sitting here like this. It needs to look like it's suspended in some way. So I've got a method for doing that um, that utilizes conduit to make it look like it's suspended from the bridge above. And it is putsy work because uh, it, it's just slow going to get that to get everything to to line up nicely. But it's totally worth it because it. It looks pretty convincing once you're done with it. Okay. Now we've got a real walkway to work with here. Um, and I, I sort of feel like it's kind of lining up pretty good at this point. Um, let's see. We can eyeball it. Yeah, look at that. Now, it's a little bit lower than I would like. So what I might do is I might, I might put a little ramp in here so that it ascends a little bit and, and hugs the bottom of the pipe a little bit closer. Um, but I got to be aware of where I'm doing it. So I think here is probably the right spot. So we're going to take one of these guys out. And that may be a little bit higher than I want to go. So we got a smaller piece. We got a half size ramp in the same style we can use right here. So let's do that, shall we? Well, god damn, look at that. <laughs> it's going to work. So, um, now I should be able to repurpose these guys. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. So, basically, what will happen is Billy will have to find a way to navigate up on top of the bridge deck here. And, and he can get up here from either side. It's dangerous on both sides because there's bands of super mutants that are on either side of the damn thing. But, you know, once you get up here, then you just find the gap, you find the broken pipe, jump down on the broken pipe, and that will get you to the catwalk. And once you're on the catwalk, you're home free. Now, obviously, uh, we don't have sufficient jump height and that kind of shit to get back up onto the pipe and exit the same way we entered. So there has to be an alternate method for actually getting back up on top of the bridge deck. And I've got that sorted as well. Um, that is a bit more complicated to build. I tried a number of different things, including a couple of mods to do that, and it didn't really work out like I'd hoped. Um, the mod that I had picked I just I couldn't get it to function like I needed it to function and so I had to abandon that idea and go with something that was a bit more clunky than what I wanted but so at this point see I'm, I'm able to jump down onto the pipe now I may have to extend this pipe a little bit longer but then the goal would be to drop from the pipe onto the catwalk, and then you're under the bridge. And what I like about this is all the vines and stuff hanging down under here uh, obstruct, also serve to obstruct people's view 
of this thing. So if you look at it from this side, anybody who's trying to scope out what is going on under this bridge from the road down there is going to be hard-pressed to figure it out because most of it is concealed by bridge supports, uh, and then the bottom half of it here is concealed by vines. So that actually worked out pretty awesome. I, I like that a lot. Okay, so let's get back into build mode. Actually, wait, before we do that, I'm going to need some more light. Good to see you, Katie. Good to see you, Gail. Welcome, everybody. Um, all right, I'm going to, I think, get rid of these. Okay, now, I think I have to extend this pipe just a little bit. Otherwise, I might not be able to clear that mess of rebar there. So there's a shorter pipe section available in this set. If I can find it, there it is, like that. So we'll put that on there. And we'll take our broken end piece and put that on there. Okay. Now that should give me what I need. See, like, we're directly underneath the pipe. So to keep from dropping off the pipe and falling to our deaths below, uh, we're going to need to add a little something-something on here. I really want to try and keep it. I wonder. What if I don't do it that way? What if we just slide our whole deck over a little bit? We go... We just move the whole catwalk over this way one. I think that makes more sense. What? Okay. Okay. Now we're cooking. Why? Why do you do that? Okay. Nope. Yes. Okay. Nope. Oh, it's messing with me. Sometimes snapping is your friend. Sometimes snapping is not your friend. Okay, I might have to... Let's do a little test. Toggle clipping off. Then back on again. Is it on or is it off? On, off. There, okay. You go away. Okay. So. Um, oh, okay. If we... Okay, if we get down here on this broken pipe, from this point... Yeah, that alignment will work pretty good. I just need to uh, extend the catwalk by maybe another half a section so I can drop onto it. That'll be interesting. Having it be a little bit dangerous, I think, is okay. I think it's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll extend this catwalk... Then we'll go back. We'll go back to the uh, the little main room that I built. I'll pop a chair in there, and we'll just wait until we've got daylight, so everybody can see better. But since I'm already here, let's get this done first.
So what's kind of fun here is we'll, we'll get this built and then we'll go down to street level and we'll take a look up and see what we can see, like how visible it is. The way it's going so far, I think it's going to be actually a lot less visible uh, than the test run I did here. So I think it's going to be even better than the first time I attempted it. All right. Boom. All right. Let's have ourselves a little wait, shall we? That'll work. All right. All right, we did it. <clears throat> successfully waited. It's probably the first thing I've done successfully in this game. Wait. All right. I don't believe I am encumbered. Let's take those out of there. That's a little bit better. Now, we're not taking the goggles off because you can't do construction without your safety glasses on. You understand? You're liable to poke your eye out or some shit like that. It's the last thing we need. Okay, so we got the basics in place here. Now, the trick is making me... making me walkway appear to be suspended from the bottom of the bridge, which, I'll be honest, it's a uh, pain in the ass. Um, and now that I'm looking at it, this is pretty close to the bottom of the bridge deck, but this section here is not close enough. So, to make sure we save ourselves some hassles, I am going to... I'm going to increase the length of this ramp so we get a little bit more height. Because I think uh, at, at the height I'm at right now, I don't think the pieces that I'm going to use for supports would even reach the bottom of the bridge deck. I think it would just be too high. So we'll fix that quick. So we'll go with a, we'll go with a ramp that is a wee bit bigger. That's the one I want right there. Nope. What you doing? Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna just snap to all the shit I don't want it to snap to. Okay, you go ahead and snap there. And you... Move that. There we go. Now, how's this? Ooh, that's pretty close, but that's better. The more I can get this to hug the bottom of the bridge deck, the harder it's going to be to see it from the ground, too, which is ultimately what I want. I want it to be as concealed as possible. And I think since we extended the bridge, uh, the ramp, I mean, I should be able to use a different piece here to get the length I want. Oh, come on. Don't mess with me here. What are we doing? Okay, there we go. Let's have a look. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, it, it comes out a little ways from that pipe. I mean, it's <laughs> going to be an interesting jump to make sure we don't miss it entirely and plummet into the Charles River. So let's uh, let's try and 
<laughs> Let's try it. Okay, normal travel speed here. Woo, okay. Yeah, that works. That will work. Okay. So now I think I can get rid of that garbage. So what I'm going to use for supports on this are power conduits, vertical power conduits. Okay, if you're not familiar with these, it's these bad boys right here. Okay, they, they actually... Um, I forget. I'm not sure what what DLC this is part of. Um, the conduits are part of the DLC. However, the vertical conduits are not included in the DLC. The DLCs do not have any vertical conduits. If you want vertical conduits, there's a mod that you need to get that will give you vertical conduits and uh, some other pieces that will allow you to do vertical conduits and uh, wall-mounted wall-mounted um, outlets and, you know, all that kind of jazz. I got frustrated pretty quickly by the idea that I could only run conduit on floors and ceilings. It made no sense at all. F running conduit on the floor makes no sense to me whatsoever. Um, the only place I can think of where a person might ever do that would be like in a manufacturing situation where you had areas of the production floor where you didn't need to have people walking or you know stuff like that so you can kind of see how this works now what I've done is I've turned snapping off for now um, and then you kind of really got to get up close and just mess with it until it kind of looks like it's in place. Okay, now this is as high as it'll go. I've hit the bottom of the conduit right here. And that looks pretty good. I think it might still be a little bit short for the bottom of the bridge deck, but I mean it's got to look passable. It doesn't have to look Perfect. Yeah, it's a little bit short. I mean, we would have been seriously short of the bottom of the bridge deck if we had gone with um, with that other ramp. So, But here you can see these power conduits, these vertical switches and lights and connectors and all that stuff. That's part of the mod. Uh, and so it lets you run, run your conduit up walls and things like that, which is so much better in my view okay so we know kind of where things need to line up now so this one we're just going to grab it and basically what I'm going to do is is to simulate supports I'm going to put I'm going to put a set of these Not at every single joint, maybe every other. Well, I don't know. We'll have to see. Depends on how much of a diva I'm being tonight, right, Katie? If I'm being a huge diva, which I'm known for, I will probably do more. And... Um, It does bug me a little bit that those don't go all the way to the top, but they're so close. And I could put an extension on the top of each one to make them reach with smaller pieces, and I'll probably go back and do that. But for now, I'm not too worried about that. Um, that's diva stuff that I can do in my off time, right? Okay. So let's just... Get two of them in here. Just so everybody knows, uh, I announced this when I first started the stream, but for those of you who weren't here yet, 
um, I'm building set pieces for my story. And so this is, um, we did a live stream where we built pumping station number one, known as Lion Outpost. And now we are building pumping station number two, which is is known as Ferrani Outpost. Um, all right. So that one is good. That didn't move, did it? Okay. And when I started the stream, Billy was all the way over in Malden, and we made our way over here, and now we're we're building. And I'm not I'm not exactly sure when this location is going to come into the story. I would say we're reasonably close. Although the way things have been going lately in the story, um, it's kind of slowed down a little bit only because Billy is hitting some adversity and it's forcing him to slow down his travel, you know, and do things like spend time camped out in one spot trying to um, get enough ammunition so he can continue, you know? So you never know where the story is going to go. That wasn't part of my original plan, but when that scenario happened, when I found him in a situation where he was, you know, out of ammo and stuck in Malden, I thought, oh, that's perfect. That sounds like great kind of character adversity to build into a story. That's what makes stories compelling is overcoming adversity. Um, and then it, I think it also presents, you know, some other interesting opportunities. So we'll see how that goes. But this will definitely be, um, I think, the next pumping station in his plan. Okay, which... Yeah, none of these are going all the way to the top. I'm going to have to go and put little extenders on all of them, but uh, the mod that I have running is going to make that putting extensions on them really easy because those will, those will snap in nicely. I won't have to fuss with those. These, I need to get them, you know, kind of lined up, sort of. Come on, you bastard. Oh, come on. You know you want to do this. Asking too much, apparently. i got to get closer so I can control the movement here. Does anybody have a problem with heights? <laughs> Swear to God, there are some times when I get the the butterflies in my stomach, you know, um, from games where there's lots of heights involved. Never played Mirror's Edge, but I'm guessing that's one that would have basically had me feeling like that all the time. You probably get desensitized to it after a while, but definitely some of that, you know, when playing Assassin's Creed and stuff like that, where some of those heights are just insane. It's kind of amazing how, how much games can mimic real life in strange ways like that. Now, the first time I attempted to do this, um, I failed to turn snapping off, which, oh my god, did it make this a pain in the ass. It was in, impossible to get anything working like I wanted it to, because it just was always, you know, constantly popping all over the place. Why are you moving, too? Both of my pieces are moving. Why is that? Is the other one jacked up? now? it is. Well, that's garbage. Uh, 
All right, I just need it to kind of line up in the middle of this one right there. Really? There we go. Only a couple more to go, people. But <clears throat> here, you get the idea, right? I mean, they really kind of look like they're suspended from the bridge deck, which to me makes all the difference in the world. Um, just makes it feel more interesting, more, I don't know, legit, so to speak. So I'm just going to try and get the last couple in place here. And I'll probably do a little bit of a test. To make sure that um, I'm going to be able to add extensions on these like I want to. And that those extensions aren't going to pop out on the other side of the bridge deck. Because that would be stupid too. Why is it... I don't know why it's doing that, but I'm not going to stress about it. I'll question it, but not stress. I shall call my inner diva. Come on now. That's pretty good. Okay, how are we doing here? Okay, so... Let's see, as far as these extensions go, this little vertical conduit mod, the interesting thing about this is in the default game, they give you pieces like this, right? Th this is basically a joint or an intersection for conduit. And that's what it looks like. With the mod, it gives you these, and, a, and it, it allows you to assemble the pieces that you want very specifically by putting these caps on them. So that that's pretty cool because I should be able to use one of these guys and it'll snap, right? It was snapping a second ago. It wanted to. Oop, boop, boop. Like that. So let me Turn the snappage back on. I think that's just going to make it a bit more sensitive. So I can keep, I can just keep popping those little pieces on there like that until I get the height I need, which isn't so bad. You can see all of them are short. So I'll have to go back and do that on all of them. These actually might only need one piece to reach to the top. Okay. About these. Yeah, this is actually... faster than I thought with snapping. What I'm wondering is, now, will one of these snap on top of that? Which I don't really know. I don't know if how I would extend these, or if this one is gonna snap. I'm not sure. But, as long as I'm reasonably close, okay, let's put one of those on there. Now, because these connectors are designed to snap to, like, the conduit switch boxes and light boxes and stuff like that. I don't know that they're designed to snap together. So... The other option, of course, is that, you know, where we've got longer spans, we could do this short conduit piece like that as well, which might be a better solution here. Let's see what that looks like. 
Oh yeah, that's that's way better. Okay, I think they would fit here too. Those, and they're embedding themselves right in the concrete. So I know that those are those are a suitable height. Those two, I think these are a bit probably a a bit below. Yeah, they are. But we can extend those then with these pieces. All right. And then we'll put little caps on these guys too, which take them up to the concrete. Perfect. I think these were good, right? Yeah. We're kind of going right into the metal there. And these were good those okay well that takes care of that then so let's let's do a little test here turn that clipping off back on again so like I said, my, my goal is to kind of make it feel like it's a natural part of the bridge because Billy is, you know, trying very hard to conceal the shit he's building from people who might want to take it or destroy it, right? So it's pretty obvious, I suppose, that something's up from this angle. But the people who are traveling along this bridge deck are going to this lift over here. So if you're coming along this way... Even if you're looking over the edge here, it pretty much just looks like a broken pipe jutting out from the bottom of the bridge deck. And it, I think it's fairly reasonable to think that maybe some civic planner would run water piping across the bottom of a bridge deck for draining water off of the bridge deck or, you know, who knows what. Right? Who knows? It could be anything. Come on. It could be... Um, they could be piping... They could be piping Nuka-Cola across the bridge. Look, at here's one of our bridge supports sticking through right there. That's not too bad, though, given how much debris is on these bridges and shit. If that's all we got sticking through the bridge deck, that's not so bad, I think. It's hardly even noticeable, and it just looks like a chunk of debris or something like that. So that right there. I don't see any other ones, so pretty good. Okay, so Billy is going to have to jump down on this pipe, and then he's going to have to very carefully get down on the catwalk. But now it's Fat City. That's right. Right right into where we need to go. So the next goal is let... Uh, let's see. I am not arguing with myself. I'm arguing with all of you. Every single one of you I'm arguing with. I'm belligerent. I'm crabby. And it's your fault. No, it's not. You are my dear viewers. Of course it's not your fault. How could it possibly be your fault? Um, I need a Jean Reitor. Now, part of the problem here is generator noise. So we're going we're gonna to position this thing first. Okay, and then we're going to take that into account because if we, um, if we go up through here, now I want to be listening, right? As I'm, I'm standing here. I'm directly over the top of that generator. And I can hear it through the bridge deck. I get here. I can't hear it. I guess more importantly is if I'm over here on this lift. 
I'm not hearing it at all. I can hear it from here. So when I did my, my test build, I tried a couple of different things to reduce the noise. But most of the solutions I came up with ended up compromising the whole setup in some other way. So I'm not going to worry about it too much, I think. I think we're just going to leave well enough alone. So the key now is get the generator in position so that we can start running our wiring. And this, I like to run conduit when I can, but this is one instance where conduit makes no sense. Um, primarily because um, I need my, I need my power to kind of hug the side of this pylon, and the pylon itself is curved. So running straight conduit down the pylon is just doesn't doesn't work so hot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of do this the I think the classic way. I'm gonna start out by popping one of those guys in there, and then this is kind of the this is the putsy part. This is the somewhat pain in the ass part because as much as I would like to just turn clipping off and do this it, it doesn't work like I like I said um, with clipping turned off it, it sometimes um, jacks up your your ability to position things or select things so what I what I do is I just kind of use stairways and kind of make myself some scaffolding, I guess, for lack of a better term. Simple stuff that um, once I'm done building, I can take apart and haul back up with me, that kind of thing. So we're just going to go all the way down. And, you know, you get a sense for high, how high up we are by how many stairways it, it takes me just to, get, just to get down to the water. So we, we made it down here. So let's go back up. Try not to fall off. Because that would just be the worst. Okay. Oh shit. Still got a long way to go yet. I thought I was there. I wish not. So one of the things that I'm doing while I'm building this, and we talked about this a little bit last time when we when we built um the last pumping station was I'm trying to keep track of how many in game days are passing while I'm doing this construction work. And then I'm I'm taking those in-game days and I'm I'm translating those into my story. So I'm I'm saying in my story that, you know, it it took Billy X number of days to finish his construction project. And that's what I'm using as a measure of the the passage of time in game. So that's kind of how that's working. Okay. So we're going to continue on down the line like this. Billy is very much a Billy goat. Um, I think I can go down. Blah, blah, blah. One more level here. Uh, I don't know if that's where I need it or not, but we'll have a look. That's pretty good. I don't want too much space in between them. So we're getting closer to the bottom here, so at some point I'm going to have to split this off. 
because we're going to run... The plan is to run two... Two purifiers down here. Okay. So what I want to do is... Let's, let's do right here. I'm going to put one on at an angle like that. And then we'll... One down here like that. And so, water purification systems in this game are kind of interesting. There, there's only two that are really relevant for us here, and this one is just too damn big. Um, this here, this works pretty good, and the way these are kind of set up, we can... We can submerge a lot, a good percentage of the, the device can be submerged, which helps us, of course, hide it, because we, we want to conceal these. Oh, yeah. Giving me shit. Okay. And then the other thing... <clears throat> that I think is kind of kind of cool like is we can use uh, debris from the side of the river we can pull debris in here and we can pile debris around to sort of further disguise it right but what I'm thinking here is is I'm I've positioned them in such a way very intentionally to be on this side of the pylon because the river is actually flowing this direction and what I wouldn't want is I wouldn't want, you know, logs and debris floating down river to, to ram into these devices and basically destroy them. So I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, issues like that, too, when I'm considering my layout here. Okay, so we'll get that one hooked up. Ooh, am I too far? Can I, can I reach it? I can't. Oh, there it is. Okay, we got those connected there to our branching conduit. And we want to get here. Okay, good deal. And so now we're just going to run our wiring on up there. Okay. So on our way up, we can dismantle our... our rather sketchy scaffolding system. I just got to make sure I don't get ahead of myself here and fail to run the wires as I go. And then once we get up there, um, Billy will take a little break. We'll, he'll sit in his chair again and we'll, we'll advance time. So we've got working in daylight again, which is always preferable. Okay. Up we go. Okay. Yeah, this gets interesting, but once you've got it all run, you don't have to worry about it again. I gotta check. Did I miss any scaffolding, or am I am I cleaning up my mess as I go? Uh, yes, I am. Now what? Up we go. Look at Billy is such a good swimmer. He can swim. He can swim vertically. He's got a bit. It's pretty impressive. I mean, come on. Pretty impressive indeed. He dives as well. You may have noticed. Upsies. 
Okay. Okay. Am I good? No, I'm not. There it is. Okay, how far did I make it? Okay. God. Almost there? Seriously? The shit I do for the Commonwealth, it's ridiculous. Okay. Okay, careful. Careful. Ah. Okay. Where are we at here? Oh. I believe we made it. Okay. So, get rid of that. that okay now we can get a good a good look so yeah i think we've taken care of it all right let's have a break shall we okay that is that's two full days of construction two full in-game days of construction so let's do another 12 hour wait And then we'll start again in daylight. Ah, uh, how's everybody doing out there? Billy Phelps. Ooh, I like it. I like it. If he didn't already have a last name, I would change it to Phelps. Okay. Now. Sorry. I'm eating my dinner. A slice of apple. Delicious red apples. I love them, red apples. So, now, we need to make sure this connection is unobstructed, and it is. All right. Now, our little water purification systems down there are happily pumping away purifying water. This we're going to move up. And the reason we're going to move that up is because I am going to put I am going to put what? What am I going to put on there? I'm going to put um, a little half wall here. Like so. Okay. And I'm going to do that because, obviously, I need an opening for my my cabling to run through. I could fancify that a little bit later on if I want to do some pass-through conduit and stuff like that. Um, but I'm not going to do that just yet. So the next thing I need is one of those guys there. There is going to be a door there. And then I'm just going to use half panels... I think here to fill this part in like so okay now I think I'm gonna leave this part open um, let's do a test and see if can is this big enough to fall through I think it Probably is, but I think the likelihood is rather small. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Okay. So I think we're in pretty good shape now. I think we're actually at a point where we can relocate that workbench. So to do that, let's just turn off that clipping again, and up we go. Through the bridge deck. Turn it back on. Now, we gotta grab this and somehow make our little jump. Oh, there we go. And we're gonna stick this in the pump house here. Get it out of the way. 
Here, let's pull it in, pull it in a little closer. Get easier to position this thing. And I can block off, I suppose, some of this. But that was kind of the, the point was to leave it open so that you could sort of look down there and see what was going on, if need be. I don't know if I'll leave it that way or not. But Okay, so we got that in there. Now, some other cool shite that we can do here is... I'm going to add some railings to our catwalk. There's some very specific ones that seem to work best here and actually match the style of the catwalk so they, they look like they kind of belong there, I guess. So we'll put some of these guys on there. Not like that, however. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, here we go. That's what that's what I need. One of those. Right? Come now. Another one of those. Look off in the distance there. You see that you see that thing that looks like it's got, you know, four legs sticking down into the ocean or whatever? Every time I see that, I'm reminded of those those big monster robot things from the Incredibles. I expect to see it start walking. But it never does. Wouldn't that be cool if it did? It'd be like War of the Worlds, man. Be sweet. Um Okay. Diva Stew making railings. Yes. You know, I think they are aesthetically pleasing, but at the same time, um, this is also affording me an opportunity to ensure that I don't plummet off the side and look like an ass. That would be most disturbing. Um, now that I think about it, I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take that door off, and we're just going to seal this side up, okay? And we're going to extend our catwalk from this point to the location where I need to build, um my exit. The exit is probably I I feel like one of the more challenging pieces of the whole build. Anyway, that's my opinion. I don't know what it's worth. Um There you go. That's the stuff. Um how close am I to this? Okay, I can't build any further that way. So, yeah. Okay, my frame rate takes a dump when it starts raining like this. Um, at least sometimes it does. So, I think we're just gonna ride it out. But I think we can do a little experiment as well, which would be to see if we have any difference, if we see any difference in the the sound profile of our generator from, from the bridge deck if we finish our walls. Just curious. Oh, it's getting finicky. Finicky. Oh. You shitball. Come here. Come here. Come here, you. You piece of... Okay. Let's take that. Go that way. Take our fancy chair. Go that way. Okay, you. Do 
my bidding. Not that one. Really. It looks dumb. There we go. Nope. Okay. Now, let's get our generator back in position. All good, still. Now, let us check here. We can activate our workbench. Go to transfer. Now, we don't have any water showing up in here yet. I I don't know what the interval is, if it's like 24 hours or what. But we'll wait and see. So, the other thing that's cool here, I guess, is that by doing a window kind of a thing here, I've, I've got a way that I can kind of look out there a little bit, but mostly it's about, eh, you know, having a way to sort of um, vent the generator and, you know, all that business. So, and I like how this looks. I mean, once you put this together, I mean, it really looks like we, you know, we used rivets to build right into the frickin' bridge girders and stuff. I mean, it's, the, the bridge itself becomes part of the architecture which I think is pretty neat. Um, okay. I think the weather is done. So, now. Now we need to figure out how the hell Billy gets out of here. Like I said... We don't have the vertical jump required to get back on the pipe and go out the same way we came in. And just logically, it wouldn't make any freaking sense at all for us to create an exit that comes out on the same bridge deck that we came in on, right? That doesn't make any sense to me anyway. So we're going to we're going to make an exit that allows us to ascend to the bridge deck above. If that makes any sense. I mean it makes sense to me. Um what I've discovered is that means nothing. So what makes sense to me makes no sense to most people. So um So I'm going to use this style of stairway but this whole process is totally trial and error um, because what are we doing here Because I need this thing to hug the side of this surface here as closely as possible um, without overlapping it. If, it. if it overlaps, then it'll obstruct my ability to climb it, and then what's the point? Um, but if it's too far away, then it, you know, what I'm building is going to stick out like a sore thumb from below. And wow, it is going way better this time than it did last time I attempted this. Okay, so let's, I know this is probably too long, but let's, let's put one on here just to see how high it goes. Okay. Pretty high. Hello, everyone. I'm, okay, this top section, this top section's got to go. So there's a couple of reasons that I'm doing it the way that I am. Um, do you want to know them? <laughs> do, you, do you want to know? Are you really interested? Because I have some explanations. Um, first, let us... Can I put another one of these on here? It's... Stop messing with me. Okay. Let's go get our stairway. First of all, I like to imagine that we're, we're using the structure of the actual bridge as much as possible as a way of supporting what it is we're, we're building. We're, we're building there. Um, 
so no so what I'm gonna do is is hug the side of the bridge as much as I possibly can so it has the appearance of something that could possibly be attached to the bridge okay and then um, will you snap in there for me or will you not this stairway is like the perfect height, but it's got this dumb support on the side, which bugs the, it just bugs the shit out of me. It doesn't look like it makes any sense. Um, let's do this. Let's, let's abandon that. And let's, oh, uh, Katie says, sure. To me, that means that Katie is really interested in knowing why. And I've already explained one point, right? Uh, you know, point one being that I, I want it to look like it could be conceivably attached to this. But here's the, the other interesting question is... The surface that we're attaching this stuff to is this delightful shit brown color. And so I'm trying to use pieces that are sort of like camouflaged with it, right? So that from a distance you might not notice the shit brown stairway going up the side of the shit brown panels on the bridge. See what I'm saying? Um, do I want you to do that? Not especially, but I'll take it. Um, so that's kind of... <laughs> that is an indication to me that I put way too much thought into this shit. Like, you know, I could be completely satisfied with the fact that I have a working stairway and not obsess so much about the fact that I have <laughs> these supports sticking down that apparently just are attached to nothing. Um, I, I could be okay with that. However, I find that I'm not. It, it's stuff like that that... That's why I'm... That's why I'm a diva. Okay? What I want is I would really love it if this would snap in here. So, it's not going to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the snapping off... And I'm just going to try to eyeball it, if I can. We're going we're gonna to make it... Why is the snapping snapping when I said no snapping? Snapping on. Uh, that's stupid. Okay. Here's the, here's the game, people. Um, we came up with this last time I did one of these building streams. Uh, I don't know if it was Katie's idea or my idea. I don't know who gets the credit for this stupidity, but it could have been me. Uh, that every time I say snap, you have to drink. Oh my God, you're in trouble, right? <laughs> you're, you're already drunk. It, how could you not be? I say snap so often because snapping is... It is my worst enemy. I have um, a rather love-hate relationship with the snapping. So, yeah. Come up here. And then I gotta... Somehow, can I jump? Oh, there we go. Okay, right? So, let's look at what we got. Like I said before, I picked this spot not, not really knowing whether or not it's officially part of the the railroad. I mean, obviously, you know, and, and I don't want to know. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to know because I haven't hit that part of the storyline yet. Um, but there's obviously a sneaky way to the south to get on the lower bridge deck. And then when you get over here, there's this great big collapse on the main on the lower bridge deck and the only way to get across it is to come up on this lift 
and then run across here to this other lift and then go back down to the lower bridge deck. Obviously, someone has taken the time to, to come in here and add these, these little lifts, which is pretty cool, and this is part of the vanilla Fallout 4 game. Well, we're building on a, a bridge deck where all of this stuff is happening, all this stuff is going on, so I'm looking for a way to conceal what we're doing, understanding that there may be people occasionally traveling this bridge. Um, so, but Billy doesn't have any concept yet for who these people might be. However, it does not escape him that it may also be very useful for him to use these lifts. And for your consideration, um, we never know for sure. We're never going to know for sure um, whether or not Billy is going to be approaching the Ferrani outpost from the north or from the south. If he's approaching from the south, he's going to, you know, he's going to come through that, that broken down mall and he's going to get on that far southern end of the bridge deck and he's going to come up this way. But he has to have a way to get to his outpost from the north side. And if he's coming from the north side, he would have to come along the lower bridge deck, come up that lift, come over here, down that lift, and then, you know, jump on the pipe and blah, blah, blah. This gives us a way to not only get out of the outpost, but a shortcut into the outpost if we're accessing it from the northern side of the bridge. And having this little platform here allows us to do that, but also having this little platform just below the lip of the bridge deck means that anybody who's on the upper bridge deck is not going to be able to look across and immediately see a railing or a platform. or the, You know, if you're standing over here looking across, you don't see Dick. And, you know, if you're over here at the platform, even standing on top of this car, you don't see Dick because you've got this broken down van blocking vision and stuff like that. So, I mean, I think it's very, very well concealed in that way, which I like. It's a super nerdy and satisfying thing for me. Um, so, good to go. That actually went much more smoothly than last time I did it. Last time I had all kinds of crazy, I had a weird, I had a weird stairway going on. Let's just say that. I had to double back a couple of times and it got pretty wonky pretty quick. Now, here's an interesting tidbit of information. I, um, I'm, I'm assuming that all y'all that, uh, play Fallout are very aware of Mr. Oxhorn. He does just absolutely amazing Fallout 4 videos. Um... He does these great lore videos and you know, mod videos and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, I was watching his channel the other day. Um, shout out to Oxhorn. If you go to his website and check out his content, I highly encourage you to. But uh, tell him Couch Warrior sent you. <laughs> um, that's not self-serving, is it? No. Well, uh, he had this great mod review on a mod that allows you to take an outpost that you constructed and save it out of game and distribute it and let other people use it in their games. And I've th been thinking about doing that with some of this shit that I've been building. Um, you know, these pumping stations and the downtown tower and all of that stuff. Um, actually producing them in a format that would allow me to upload them somewhere where you guys could download and install them in your games and use them yourselves. And I'm thinking it would work pretty good because uh, I am using some mods, uh, but it, what, it what it would require is that you'd have to, I th you'd have to be on PC unless, unless maybe unless whatever I was building was 
a hundred percent vanilla assets, but I'm using a lot of stuff that's not. So uh, that's part of the reason why I'm able to build these things and hide them because I'm using some mods that give me some specialized tools that allow me to do funky things that I want to do. Um, so basically what it would do, you'd have a file that you could download that would install the structures that I've created, but then also there would be a mod list, an accompanying mod list. And you'd have to go out and grab those mods, install them, and then install this thing, and boom, it would take all the assets available that it, that it needed from those mods, and it would construct things like the downtown outpost, um, Lion Pumping Station, Ferrani Pumping Station, all that kind of stuff. Um, I could even do it with the, my whole sanctuary township, for that matter. So, something to consider. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Uh, I've only done a small amount of research on, on what it would take to actually accomplish that, but I started down that path by watching one of Oxhorn's video uh, mod reviews, and uh, it looked pretty intriguing. So, I might, I might give it a shot. Um, and then, depending on how difficult it turns out to be, that'll determine whether or not I do more than, you know, one, one settlement or... Um, outpost or whatever, but we shall see. Okay, so as I said before, these places, not only are they water purification stations, but they are also safe houses, places where he can go to get out of the weather, to get some rest, to recharge his batteries, to stock up on, on supplies, uh, you know, things like that, uh, to lay low and hide from the law, if there were any. Um, that kind of thing. So I like to stock them with little things, a place to sleep. Uh, we're going to provide him with some light and some storage. And then, as I've said before, pretty much anywhere that I build a generator, I also put in things like toolboxes and stuff, just because it kind of makes sense that he would have a stash of tools there. Um that he could use to repair things, stuff like that. And we'll put in one of these guys. So that's our storage. All right. Well, that's it. That actually went pretty damn smoothly. Shit. All right, let's... Um, Let's have a little test run here. Now there's a few things I'll probably go in and tweak just to satisfy my my nitpicky self, but um, all the basics are in place now, so that's actually pretty amazing. All right, so we, early on in the stream, we saw the access point from the south. Let's take a look at how, how Billy gets up here from the north. I kind of like the, uh, the idea that maybe he's using these lifts that belong to someone else. To his advantage? <laughs> like stealing someone's electricity or cable service? Yeah, that seems like something Billy would do. All right. Now, the challenge and part of the fun in getting to Ferrani Outpost is getting on the bridge deck, which... Um, is dicey, always, because both access points to the bridge deck are covered with super mutant trouble. So there's this sort of half-constructed building. They're going to splatter my brains. Um there's this half kind of constructed building 
It's mostly girders, and um, it's filled with super mutants, and you have to sort of fight your way up to the fifth or sixth floor, and then there's kind of a really just a little uh, ratty bridge that runs across from the building to the to the deck. So when you get down here, you can see this this is the problem, right? Like the the lower deck of the bridge is totally collapsed here. Um, and that's, I think, part of the reason why whoever came along before us built this lift system. All right. So let's uh, go this way. So if we're approaching from the north, we we just take this lift up and then we can take our stairway down. If we're coming the other way, then of course, like I said, we're using our special pipe entrance. Now, I I probably could have, well, I only needed, if I'd wanted to, I could have just done this top level entrance and left it at that. Um, but for safety's sake, I sort of like the idea of having two escape routes. So if you remember from the first from the first outpost build, if you were part of that whole adventure, we've got a route. We've got more than one route in and out. Uh, you can you can get in through a secret door on the side, or you can get in through a pipe. There's a pipe that runs down. Um, it, it comes comes in underneath the building, and you can come up through that pipe or whatever. Um, and the, the other option for quick escape, if, if you know, you find yourself in a pickle or somebody's raiding the place, you're being attacked or whatever, uh, is that you can go out into the main boathouse and climb a scaffolding and jump through an upper, an upper window and get down that way. So having two uh, entrance and egress points or whatever in these places is kind of Billy's fail-safe to make sure that he never gets trapped in one of these places should someone find it and he happen to be there kind of hanging out. So here is the southern entrance, right? you got to climb across that car, and to get up to this level, you've got to take an elevator that will only access certain floors. Apparently this is a mall or something, or used to be a mall. Um, so in either case, you've got to sneak past some nasties to even get to the bridge deck. So that has the effect in a way of discouraging people from messing with Billy's stuff anyway, so. All right. Pretty good deal. I'm I'm very Approach satisfied. And identify yourself. No. Law abiding citizens will not be harmed. Scanning for area secure. Man, those guys are down there a ways. Like, it's kind of amazing they can detect me all the way up here. So eventually Billy's travels are going to bring him over this way. And then we will account for this. So it looks like we're eh, basically, basically three in-game days to build this. Um... And I, I may play with that timetable slightly, but uh, I, as long as I know roughly what the timetable is. All right. Now, to polish this thing off, we're going to snap a door in here, I think. And the door would be here. I'm going to probably just use a flat steel door. And it's not going to snap in because there's something it doesn't like, which is probably this railing. So let's take that railing off for the moment. 
stick it there. And then we'll get our door in there, hopefully. Wow, it's pissed. Oh, do I even have a door frame in there? I took the door frame out, didn't I? Uh, I don't think I have a door frame in there. Let us see. Uh huh. Right. I kind of want you to be the other way. Like that. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see if it works now. Uh, yeah, it did. And now we can get our railing back, I hope. Okay, let's try that. Haha. -ha. Very good. Okay. Now, let's get some shut eye in our really super nice and appealing sleeping bag. There we go. Better. Much better. Hmm. I wish Billy had some footy jammies to wear in game. That would be amazing. Okay. That is it. Like I said, there's probably some fussy stuff that I could go back and take care of, but that is Ferrani Outpost, ladies and gentlemen. And we are going to see this outpost in game. I can't tell you when it's going to be in game because I'm not sure yet. It just depends on how it works with the story. But Billy's travels are taking him closer and closer to Charlestown. And that is the area that we see directly below here. This is Charlestown. Um, so this has us kind of prepared for that. So I can go through that section of the storyline and just keep on a moving. So what I'm going to do now, ladies and germs, is because we have completed this, well, first of all, let's... Let's make sure we're actually pumping water here. Oh, yeah. Purified water, 14. Excellent. So that's working. Everything's powered up. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the fussy stuff right now, but what I am going to do is I'm going to take a little break, uh, and then I am going to come back, and we will do something else if you'd care to stick around. Otherwise, the building portion of this, I think, is concluded. Uh, that went pretty smoothly. So, uh, we are going to take a short break, and uh, when we return, I'll come up with something else, hopefully semi-interesting to do. So feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Uh, I will play a little bit of uh, Radio Free Boston for you. Um, Fortune Radio. All right. And I will return shortly. 